Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna learn how to create water in Construct 3. It's fairly simple, so let's get it started. Come on. Yeah. Hey, so this is what we're gonna create today. It's some sort of 2D water. It's pretty cool as you can see. It's uh, fairly simple. And we're just gonna start by creating a, a new project. <clears throat> and uh, let's get it going. So we're gonna call it a water tutorial. I'm gonna do it go with the HD uh, size but it really really doesn't matter I'm just gonna lay out like how I like to work but uh, honestly it doesn't matter uh, which uh, which size your project is, uh, is in so I'm just gonna crop the canvas and uh, we don't need the whole thing and I'm uh, gonna change the background color just so we can see it better And now I'm gonna add a layer on top and this is actually important we need the water to be on a separate layer and you're gonna see in a minute why because we're gonna apply effect to the to the layer itself so basically uh, yeah so now I'm gonna create a, a single like basically a single water drop okay so I'm creating like a soft I'm looking for a soft brush you see so this is the hardness I'm gonna choose a soft brush and I'm gonna make it like almost like in the size of the of the square so I'm just gonna press and I'm gonna crop it to uh, transparent edges great so after I cropped it so the next thing that I'm gonna do is actually uh, the the collider like the collision polygon I'm gonna make it much smaller and you understand you are you're gonna understand it in a in a minute or two Okay, cool. So basically, I'm just grabbing the handles and I'm just making it really tiny, way way smaller than the actual size of the of the object itself. And this is gonna you're gonna understand it in a second. Why am I doing it like this small? Okay, so now I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna make it a little smaller. It's obviously too big for to be like a water drop. Cool, I'm gonna duplicate it and now I'm gonna you see so I'm on the on the layer itself on the water layer itself and you see they they're not really connecting how I want them to be so now I'm gonna apply the effect that I, I told you about and this is basically where the magic happens so I don't know if you're ready for it but it's pretty cool so I'm adding um, it's called alpha clamp so you can add that and you see what's happening when I added the alpha clamp you see they're kind of merging together you know so this is the reason we made the brush this soft now I'm gonna just play around with the threshold and the and the upper clamp I don't need to, to deal with the lower clamp actually but I'm gonna just play around with it until I feel comfortable with the with what uh, what came out of it. And now, basically, I'm gonna just duplicate it a bunch of times. Now I don't know exactly how many particles we have here, but I'm just playing around and seeing like if you know if it works nicely and obviously if you're gonna create it in inside a game you need to pay attention to the amount of water drops you you're creating okay so basically I just added physics and uh, they're falling and now I need to build some kind of a container for the water to you know to, to drop inside so I'm just gonna create a basically just a rectangle I'll just change the color to something different than the drops so we can uh, see the difference okay cool and I'm gonna add a, a, a physics behavior to this one just like we did it with the drops but we're gonna you see it falls so we're gonna make it immovable and once we did that so it stays in the place and you can see the the effect is already like happening you know in some way so I'm just gonna build a container for it 
and I'm going to duplicate the drops a bunch more times. Cool, so it behaves nicely, but it's not really a water now because you, you saw like the edges are not very smooth. So I'm going to uh, play around with the friction and elasticity. And now you see it behaves a little more like water. So I'm just going to change the angle here so you can see the effect better. Cool, now I'm going to create some sort of character because I want mm, I want to like play around with the water so you can see how it uh, behaves I'm gonna create like the face I don't know yeah so cool I'm gonna make it smaller and just for this sake I'm gonna give it like a drag and drop behavior um, with physics obviously if I want to interact with physics I, will, I, I need physics in my ob like on my object so I need to add physics if I want my character to interact with the water and now I'm pressing pressing play and basically you can see how it goes and it's super super simple and super cool I really like this one So yeah guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, so please uh, share a comment or just let me know or show me your result, I would love to see. Thanks.